Good, uh, good morning still, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to this opener. You know, they're uh, over the years coaching. Uh, the openers are kind of like a playoff atmosphere. You know, no matter how you want to look at it, you know, your fan base is excited, your coaching staff. This is a new beginning with Quazy and Kevin and all of us together. Um, our, our players, you know, we've been working on schemes and working together, and it's the first time we go out, really, you got to get used to the speed of the game. You, you don't see game speed, so that amps up, and, and uh, the teams in the offseason, people have new things that they haven't shown in the preseason, so there's that unexpected, that un, unscouted element to these games, so uh, they're just a little unique. Really, the first two weeks, uh, week one especially, you got the great rival with the the Vikings and the Packers. So, so it's all there, you know. Do you, do you like getting a stress test, I guess, for the defense right away, like Aaron Rodgers, the Packers offense? Week yeah, one? I think anytime you're you're uh, putting your group together, you know, you you want to earn the right to be tested, you know, and that that's what we're working on. You know, we're not making any predictions. We're just working really hard. There's there. Um, you know, I can't say enough about on the defensive side, the guys I'm working with, the staff, you know, how they've come together. And we got some experts at their position, but just really the way we've gelled. And you'll see that's, that's gone downstairs too. Our players, you know, um, I can't remember having more fun, you know, or, or I don't know if fun's the right word. Just being connected and working on tasks would probably be, be the, the, the right explanation of that. So that, that, you know, when you're together, usually good things happen. Did you see from Jonathan Bullard during training camp? Um, he was not a name that you know popped up in the beginning of camp too much, and at least publicly. And I was wondering what yeah. you saw with him yeah. and what you see for him moving forward. Yeah, he has some experience with a combination of, of being a, a good anchor in, in your line for the run, but uh, he does add a little pass rush to your operation. He is a veteran player. He fit in right here and kind of complemented our front. Expecting to have him for Sunday? Yes, we do. Ed, earlier, Wes was talking about just how excited he is, even from an offensive perspective, to see what Daniil Hunter can do as a stand-up kind of guy now, especially hand-in-hand hand with Zedarius. But he's so excited about seeing Daniil take on this, this kind of new adventure uh, on the defense. It's got to be so much more for you as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the edge players are, are very important in this game, you know, and this is our first test. But we really like the depth, all four guys. And, uh, you know, they're, they're important, and they got to play well for us to win. You mentioned how connected these guys yeah. are. Was that right away, or did that develop over camp? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, no, it's something that's really important to us. You know, we, we don't just think you put players out there and, and just gather up people and put them out there and they play, or you put your plays out there. With every team, I think I said before, is, is the uniqueness of your defense comes out in the guys you have. And this defense will be like no other, you know. We're not sure what it's going to be like. We're going to go out and look at it, but it, it will evolve. Um, so the connectedness is, is something we've been working on. And we have some natural relationships that have formed with certain positions. You know, uh, Daniil and Zadarius, they didn't know each other, you know, six months ago. And they're, they're really close, you know. And you, Delvin Tomlinson and, and uh, Harrison, in the D-line, they're really close, and they have a lot of similarities in their background. And, and we just started talking to each other, and we kind of uh, are figuring it out. But uh, I'm really pleased with the way these guys have come together and all the free agents that have come on our team fit. So it was a great job by our personnel people getting that right, and that's never easy to get that many things right. When you look at uh, Chandon Sullivan at the nickel position, he's really blended in well with our people. Um, Everybody along the line. So Darius has come on this team and has a presence and a role that's really helpful. And working with Kevin in the in the capacity you have since this team began, what impresses you most about the way he thinks the game? Yeah, uh, I just think because he was a quarterback, he has a global understanding of the game. You know, those are the guys that have to know the most about how it works. Uh, what I'm I'm most impressed about him, he's being the head coach. You know, he, he governs and he talks about our defense as our, as our defense, you know, and um, he knows about it. He knows why we're here. He knows what we do and how he ties special teams, offense and defense together, 
you know, and uh, and he's he's a really good competitor, you know. And you put all that together, you know, a guy with a presence, he has experience, and he's all about tying the whole team together. Well, being heavily involved in offense. Calvin Lazard have been there, but uh, the departure of Adams, that's a significant part of their targets yeah. from last year. Like, yeah. how do you expect? Yeah, yeah. When, when you lose a guy yeah. like Devontae Ab Adams, you know, every once in a while there's a special connection, you know, that you see with with great quarterbacks, and, and, and they're really important to him, and they can lean on those guys, and he will be without that. And there's no question that hurts him some because you can rely on him in an instant, and he won't be there. But if you, you study the great quarterbacks, uh, you know, not just Aaron Rodgers, when they change people, they, they still make it work. And he has. You know, and we went back and studied those games to see um, how, how, how he operated when he didn't have them. You know, and, and they're still successful, and they won a lot of games and, 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 and so forth. So that part of it, uh, usually you go into a game knowing you have to take care of uh, Devontae Adams on, on certain plays, and you don't do that. So that changes for us, I'm trying to think of what else would be uh, significant about that. You know, it's, it's really, you know, you, you look at it, he has a great relationship with, with uh, Matt LaFleur, and they put together tough plans, and, and they have a lot of experience together. They make you re work really hard on defense. Can rookie receivers be hard to prepare for? Like you're looking at college tape and stuff. Um, yeah, yes, when you don't know people and they haven't been out there as long, but you know, Sammy Watkins, we know him, he's been in the league. Lazard, you know, he, he's been out there playing for him. Cobb, I mean, you know, these, these, you know those aren't strange strangers, you know, and, a, and usually a veteran player can hook up with these kind of quarterbacks pretty quickly with Watkins. So, so we have all that. But again, that goes back to that week one. That's when teams change the most. You don't know where they're going to put people. Right, you have an advantage in week two, like when we play Philly. We don't know where they're going to put their new receivers. Well, you at least have an idea because you have seen a, a week with uh, when they have all their guys out there. Is, is practice enough to kind of <laughs> glean what how good this defense is going to be, or are you going to learn way more about that as this? Yeah, we're going to learn. You know, and and in game one, you have to do more adjusting than any other game of the year. You know, so uh, again, having an expert staff. I can't do it all myself. I got to have information. We got to be on point and be able to adjust. So, so that part of it. But to answer your question, uh, no, we don't know for sure. But we certainly like, you know, what we see. We like the way they're working together. But as we get used to the, the being on point and the speed of the game, as, as this game goes on, you know, the first three series, we'll be seeing if they're what we thought they were. And, and so forth, and, and then you uh, move on, and, and every game's different from that point on. And obviously, plenty of tape out there, eons on Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> but when a guy can have that out there and still go out and face teams over and over again, what do you find the most dangerous thing? I mean, I know it's ex his yeah. experience and how he sees it, but regardless of how you game plan against him, he still finds success many times. Yeah, yeah. Well, he hasn't beaten everybody, OK? He hasn't beaten every everybody. and we. Intend to play very well in this game, and and have have a positive uh, result. Um, but that, it's you know it, it's it's in some ways a privilege to be in these kind of games. You know to be up against that. You know when you play the Hall of Famers, the Elways, the Marinos. I'm dating myself. You know, but the Mannings, Brady's. You know they they just bring out something special in everybody. You know you don't have to do anything to motivate your team. You know, because you're getting what they got against these guys. So uh, what makes him great, you, you touched on it. He has special awareness on the field. So he can pick up on tiny things. So giving him tells, you know, he's searching for them. We're trying to keep him from getting those. And then you look at a guy that has a, uh, you know, rare last 20 years arm and accuracy. And, um, you know, the one thing that's a little bit different about him, he's a moving target that can hit moving targets. You know, and when you have the wheels and the arm and the knowledge, it, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a full day of work. So that's, that's what we're uh, intending to prepare for. Good. <clears throat> All right. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day.
Montana to the gate. Montana to the gate, yeah. Okay.